what would you tell what would you tell a new teacher just starting out a new white teacher just starting out trying to learn about multicultural education well one of the first things that i try to get teachers to do is to get to know their students um because if you don't have relationships with your students it almost doesn't matter what you do in the classroom you can have great lesson plans you can have read all the material in the world but if you can't form relationships with your students then and if possible, also try to get to know something in the communities that kids come from. Because if people do that, then, then I can work with you around developing, you know, lessons. And, but if, if, to me, that's just absolutely, absolutely key first step. Um, in, when I'm teaching um, a multicultural curriculum design class, which I've taught a number of times. Um, I have teachers, and it's usually beginning teachers, sometimes it's more experienced teachers, but it's usually beginning teachers in the class. I have them, um, we work through a process of, that will culminate in them developing a unit they can teach. And then in some cases, I've gone into their classes to observe them teaching the unit. But we start by um, taking a concept in the curriculum and Figuring out what that means sometimes takes a while because um, people are sort of used to, okay, we'll pick up the textbook and follow the textbook. What do you mean by a concept? But then they have to interview their students to find out what the kids know or don't know or want to know related to that concept. Find out something about the community-based knowledge, the field, the life experiences that kids bring in related to that. They need to read the intellectual work of one historically marginalized group related to that concept. And I want them to read in some depth. Um, a problem with when people try to create multicultural curriculum is a whole lot of it ends up being really superficial. So they'll add a little bit of information, but not really rethink what they're teaching. So, um, so I'll have them, them read in some depth and and sometimes that actually does make them start rethinking the curriculum in ways that i think are useful um one teacher for example who was a second year teacher i've written an article about this a second year teacher decided she, she said okay i'm doing um, i'm going to be teaching about the 13 colonies so and I don't know anything really about indigenous people. So what if I take the concept of colonization and try to think about that from the perspective of indigenous people? And then she was like, uh, I remember, I can literally picture when she came up to me after class, gee, what do indigenous people think about colonization? And I'm like, oh my God, because there's been so much that's written. It's like, you know, you're a well-educated person and you don't know. And I didn't exactly say that, but I but she did come to realize that her whole education had been so horribly skewed because she didn't know. So I had to do some directing of her of things to read, and she um, then she got real confused in a good way, I think, about what she should teach because um, because she couldn't just add stuff to the curriculum that was basically a story about the disappearance of indigenous people. Um, because that's essentially the way indigenous people are put into the Eurocentric narrative of US history. And so she designed this unit that, that ended up being, it was a two perspective that she designed it around a trial where the indigenous people, the, the, the Wampanoag of Massachusetts we're, we're bringing the colonists to trial for misusing the resources. And in order to get this short little three-day unit right, she had to do a lot of research. But by having the, by doing the in-depth reading, just from the perspective of one group, it, so far it doesn't make the curriculum necessarily multicultural, but it, it starts broadening teachers' understanding of who creates knowledge and what difference does that make? And what does the stuff I'm teaching actually, what might it look like from um, the perspective of um, other groups? Um, yeah. Just by, uh, by the way, one problem that I continually run into with that um, assignment 
is, does relate to Native Americans, where a lot of teachers are so used to thinking of um, children's stories as being, they don't distinguish between um, um, intellectual work done by uh, indigenous academics or indigenous theorists or even elders and just sort of think of children's stories as being where they're going to get their information. And so I have to work with them about um, um, knowledge that adults hold, um, adults in the community as well as adults in academe, and because that's where you'll get more of the, the depth of work. Um, and then there's other things that they have to do in developing this unit, but those are ways that, that that's how I work with them to try to make it something doable and something that that actually expands their way of thinking about teaching. And, and